friend my name is Jaz and welcome back to my channel bro learner today we are going to download and install oracle 19c in our windows 11 machine for that first of all open your favorite browser and search oracle 19c download and hit enter and now here you can see we have oracle.com and after that you can scroll down and you can see the oracle database which is oracle database 19c download for windows operating system just click here and you can see the download option is here visible just click on that it will ask you the term and condition to agree and you just tick and after that click on download and it will load to another page which is login page if you already create oracle id then fill up here and then click on sign in and it will start downloading if you don't have just click on create and here you can see you have to provide email id password tree type country first name last name job title if you are a student just provide here student phone number company name you can provide any or if you think you will create a company in future you can name it also and after that your address then state then zip code and after that click on create account it will create your account okay I wanted to tell you is when you start downloading Oracle DB, it is of 2.9 GB. So make sure you have a good internet connection with uh, unlimited pack. Okay. Here you can see our Oracle database is successfully download. Just click on show and folder. And after that, you can see it is of zip file. Just click here, right click and click on extract all. Click on extract. It will take some time. You can see it is uh, extracting 40,596 files. It will take some time, and I, for the time being, I download SQL SQL developer developer download and hit enter. Now here you can see we again have official website www.oracle.com. It is the official website. Open this and here you can see the latest version of sql developer just click on here it is of 5 459 mb and it will not take more than two minutes okay just click here click on i accept i already log in that's why it will not show me the login option and if you download um, the sql 19c then it will not show you also okay just click on here it will start downloading and it is the new update of Google. That's why I just show you here the downloaded file. It is of 438 MB. It will not take more than one minute. Okay. Now let's see our file is extract extracted or not. You can see it is uh, completing 8% and our this file is also downloaded you can see our sql file is also downloaded and it is again a zip file we have to extract this also let first complete the first one then we will do the second one okay successful extraction of two files just uh, open the first which is oracle db 19c just double click on it and after that you can see the setup file just double click on it and click on yes and after that I minimize this just uh, first option is create and configure a single instant database this option create a starter database okay and if you want set up uh, software only you can choose this option but I just choose the first and click on next 
and after that you can download the desktop class or server class i choose the first one and then click on next and here if you are existing user of oracle database then you can click here and provide the username and password because i am installing for first time that's why i create a username which is nothing but i provide my name then password and after that click on next and here I change this with Oracle and here you can see Oracle OR data where our files are stored and after that you can see we have enterprise edition or standard edition okay now I leave all other thing as it is and here I provide the password that I already created you can provide the password according to your need and after that click on next click on yes it will show you show me my password is not uh, strong and it is very simple that's why it show me this message i click on yes if you are satisfied with your password you can also click on yes okay and after that it will take uh, one to two minutes and after that it will load to summary and then you can easily install just leave all other thing as it is and click on install now it will take one to two minute okay click on allow now here you can see our oracle 19c database is successfully installed just click on close and after that cut this out it will automatically cut now here type sql sql plus and hit enter when sql plus is open here provide sys as sys d b a and after that hit enter now here provide the password that you created and it will not show this hit enter and you can see connected to oracle database 19c enterprise edition release 19.0.0.0.0 production version 19.3.0 and 0 this means your oracle 19c is successfully installed okay we open the file explorer and here we open the sql developer and after that just open this again and here you can see sql developer.exe just double click on it and after that i minimize this and this it take not more than one minute have patience now here you can see if you already install and want the previous import what you did in your previous version then you can click on yes otherwise click on no because I installing first time that's why I click on no <clears throat> here you go your installation is completed and your SQL developer is open now here click on create a connection manually now here type the name I type test DB and after that provide the username says and here provide the password that we create and here choose the role which is sysdba and after that change this with the orcl and then click on test you can see the status is successful and after that click on connect here you can see our test db is successfully created after connecting to database we have to create a table 
I provide create table student student and after that parenthesis open and close then semicolon and after that hit enter and here provide name or you can provide first name f name and then provide the variable type where care where care and here you can provide the character size for example i provide 10 then semicolon then l name and after that i provide where care and here again i provide 10 character then we have to provide not the semicolon but comma that's why it give, show me the error and after that i provide roll number roll hyphen number and then i provide integer int and after that we don't need to provide anything else we have to just select this all and then press the run button you can see our first database is created and similarly you can insert insert and then provide the table name student and you can provide the query whatever you want and according to the field that you choose first name last name and roll number you can provide in the series and even if you want to individually do you can also do that so this is how you can download and install Oracle database in your Windows 11 machine. Hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe my channel, share with your friends and bye bye.